Hi, and welcome back to All Things Equilateral. It's been a while. I'm not very good with this video thing. In case you want to check out someone who is good at the video thing, check out my daughter, the bookish cat. I'll link her channel down below. She posts videos every Thursday. She's very good about that. Me, not so good. Mom duties, mom stuff gets in the way all the time. But today I'm here to talk about Jennifer Nivens holding up the universe. Uh, this is an article that was sent to me by the publisher and I hadn't read Jennifer's uh, All the Right Places yet. I've heard some things about it, I've heard some controversies about it, and I just kind of shelved it a little deeper on my TBR, but when this came in I kind of wanted to read it right away. And I really can't tell you why except that yes, I'm a character-driven reader, and this book contains two very interesting characters. They're named Libby and Jack, and Libby is an interesting character because when her mother passed away, she gained hundreds of pounds. This is all before the book even starts. In fact, she became known as America's fattest teenager, and the reason that she became so well known is because in the midst of a medical emergency, they had to cut her out of the house, literally. She grew up pretty sheltered, uh, and kind of alone, she used to look across the street and watch these three neighbor boys play and imagine that they were her friends. After the incident where she's cut out of the house, she becomes homeschooled for a while, so she's really, really isolated. As the book starts, Libby has lost literally hundreds of pounds, and she has decided to enroll back into high school. I know, you know it's coming, and it does come. She encounters all of her old friends who now know her as, oh, weren't you the girl that was cut out of the house, right? Sometimes I wonder as a parent why her dad just didn't move, but I know that as a parent and an adult, that's not always possible. And as I read this, my heart just kind of cried out for Libby because the awkwardness of coming back with everyone knowing your history is very painful. The other character whose point of view we get is Jack. And Jack suffers from a condition that's known as facial blindness. That's where he can't recognize people's faces, literally. So he has to use kind of mind games to and associations to know, okay, the person that does this a lot or talks loudly or has this facial characteristic is my brother. It's literally that serious. Libby and Jack meet in possibly the worst way ever, playing a game, and I use those air quotes because it's a painful, hideous, humiliating game uh, that, you know, it did ring true. It's high school. It's a time of humiliation, uh, I guess. Um, as a mom, I read it, and I, I just cringed. I'm cringing now thinking about it. But the two of them meet, and what we have is a parallel between their inner and their outer conflicts. What I liked about this book, and I'm going to keep this really short and spoiler free, what I liked about the book was the ending. It surprised me. Most of the book is pretty predictable, as you can imagine, but the ending surprised me, and it was a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. And so it made me want to go read All the Bright Places now. Have you guys read any of Jennifer Niven's books, and what do you think? I gave Holding Up the Universe four stars. It was very good, and it held my interest. What could have made it five stars? I really don't know. I think the pacing was off. It's a pretty thick book, again, for a contemporary. The pacing slowed down a little bit from time to time, but still, I wanted to know how the issue resolved itself that they became involved with and how they grew as two characters with these monumental issues that they have to overcome. The writing was well done, the cover is beautiful, there are two characters that you will want to meet. So let me know what your thoughts are down below, and you know what, if you like my really quick reviews, non-spoiler, just give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you here next time. I promise to post more videos in a quicker time frame. Thanks you guys, and good.